The Matrix has attacked me. This way? No. That is Andrew Tate being detained in Romania as well as a number of other people. And we're still sifting through the information and he's making certain claims about it. We're gonna debate what exactly this might represent and what the authorities are saying is going on. But first, I believe we have a little bit more video. Release some greenhouse gases. I'm obviously a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do, but now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, have an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? Strange. I mean, also, I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but it is what it is. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Thank you. So I'm not actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the matrix. She thinks she's doing good. Ugh, the reason we had to play that, because that obviously comes before the detention, is there is a theory going around that the pizza was instrumental in catching him. Um, I don't know if that's true. The authorities are, are, are casting a bit of doubt on that, that the little QR code in the name of the company was involved. But I'm glad that the theory is out there because it allowed Greta to get in one more tweet where she tweets, this is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes, which I think is hilarious. Um, but anyway, I also want to show you that video just because um, who who is that impressing? Honestly, like again, I'm glad that he made it for the tweet, and also because uh, Jessica Burbank did a great impersonation of him on Instagram uh, from that video. But who's being drawn in by that? You you believe that that guy has a good life? You think he's happy and satisfied? Anyway, as of right now, he is probably not happy because he was uh, hauled in. The uh, authorities have detained him as well as his brother, Tristan, and a couple of other guys for supposedly human trafficking and forming an organized crime group. We're still learning the details on that. But uh, a Romanian anti-organized crime unit is seeking authorization to hold him, his brother, and two other suspects for 30 days. The initial warrant was for 24 hours. One of the individuals, they're not saying who, at least as of when we're uh, going live right now, was charged with rape as well. But there's not a lot of specifics here on exactly who is being charged with exactly which of the crimes and all that. We do know that Romanian prosecutors are saying that they've identified six people who are being held and and being either forced to produce pornography or being assaulted by some one or more of these individuals. He's saying that he was swatted, that this wasn't, I guess, an organic investigation. Okay, maybe that's true. Maybe he's telling the truth. Anyway, Brett, the whole thing is disgusting. Everything involving him always will be. But what do you think about this? I hope this is just one elaborate ad for Jerry's Pizza. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, sorry, I'm getting like skipped frames. So yeah, I hope this is one giant elaborate ad for Jerry's Pizza. And uh, I love that he thinks that this is impressive. He is totally like, let me get that pizza, I'm gonna nail it. I'm not sure you can recycle pizza box lids, but I do know one There's thing. There's a lobbying group that says you can actually. Okay, good, I love it. I trust every lobbying group. Um, anyways, I just, I love this. I love this story because it really is a microcosm of the internet in 2022. Where the, every reasonable person is like, come on, dude. There's a lot of stuff that most human beings out there accept. And then there's other people who don't want to accept the world because the world hasn't accepted them. But they wouldn't, they don't want to do put forth any effort into understanding what it is about the world that rejects their behaviors and then analyzes whether that 
that essential matrix is a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Instead, they want to idolize anyone who makes them feel like they're they can have a, a path toward being worth it. Unfortunately, that person who offers them that path pretty much invariably is only successful and functions as a successful role model in their mind because that role model is just grifting off of these sad, disaffected D bags. Yeah. Yeah, that's so all. The, the oh, most hilarious thing is all the people who are like, Andrew Tate, alpha sex traffic and go to jail for it. Like there's still stands out there who are gonna stand to the death um, uh, of, of Andrew Tate, regardless of how horribly he handled this. Yeah, yeah, and, and I don't know what the evidence is going to be, but I also know that it's irrelevant to those stands. They're gonna believe, because they, they believe what he says, and what he says is that it's illegitimate. But it's, but. Look, I have more general things to say about him that I'll save for later in the show, not to be too specific. I don't want to talk generally about him that much. But when the only thing that they can make money off of is selling you that you should be more like them, you should be you should be a little bit more curious about that. You should look into that a little bit. Like 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 the people who make a ton of money just teaching you how to sell real estate. Why aren't they doing it then? If they're if it's so easy, why aren't they making money off of real estate? Why are they making it off of telling you how to sell real estate? And it's the same thing for these guys. They're not individually wealthy. They're wealthy only because they're telling you to give them money so you can learn how to be wealthy. Why doesn't that raise like red flags for people? I don't understand it. Anyway, while we can joke about different aspects of this and the story throughout the week has been hilarious. His weird attempts to one up Greta and his complete inability to do it is funny. The story at the end of the day is not funny. The, the things that they're being alleged to have done are as dark and as serious as anything. There are many victims to this. Some have already been discussed in the story. And then I also consider a lot of the guys who have been drawn in by these absolute loser grifters are victims in a different way. But anyway, we'll see what happens. He's claiming that he's just been swatted. I don't know what that has to do with anything. We'll see what the Romanian authorities have, and also how long they can they can hold him. In theory, he could be released very soon. We'll have to see, but we'll have updates. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.